Okay, I think this might be the first episode where I've started with the wine already in my hand. <laughs> so much. Um, we had stalker situation, hostage, um, car crash, the gospel album. So much was covered in tonight's episode, and I'm so thankful that, you know, we've got Heavenly Hallie on hand <laughs> to kind of like help piece tonight's episode together. Um, I mean, really, I'm sure a lot of you out there are just like needing to take a deep breath, which you can do, but grab a glass of wine or two or three and um, sit back and get ready to uh, have a little Nash chat with us because this is Nash chat and we're starting now. Okay, so before we dive into tonight's episode, Nashies, I want to give just a quick little thing. Like, you got to hit pause if you have not watched tonight's episode. You got to step away from Nash Chat and you need to go, right? Am I right? Yes. Like, you cannot watch this no. and we can't ruin it. Like, I'll feel really bad when we start to ruin things because from here on out, it's like spoiler after spoiler after spoiler. So this is sort of your, your warning, your, your alert to go watch the episode and then come back and watch watch Nash Chat after that. So um, we have Rhiannon Giddens here with us tonight. And I mean, woo! like we are sitting with some amazing talent. I'm talking like a Grammy Award, folk artist, uh, let's see, actress, and as of today, ACM nominee for her Kelly Word with Eric Church. So yes. congratulations on that. High Thanks. five. Nice. Such a beautiful song. You did a great job. So, Thank I mean... You. How, where were you when you got the news about the nomination? Um, I, I was on a I was on an interview, and uh, you know I I I, I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't. I no. didn't know. So he said, "How do you feel?" And I was like, "Surprised." <laughs> but you know, awesome. it's, 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 it's Eric's it's Eric's song. He he just it's such a great song, and and I was just you know just honored to be able to sing on well, it. Well, it's a very bit, humble so. of you, but you kill it during the song. Oh, thanks. No, I mean, kill it. Kill a word. <laughs> um, and then we have Lacey Cavalier as our house band tonight. So she's going to be giving us, I mean, in, when y'all hear her sing later on, her voice is absolutely beautiful. Oh, she's like you. a tiny little thing, but then she's got these deep, beautiful pipes. So thank I'm you. excited for y'all to hear that in a little bit. And then Fire. we always have our Nashies on the couch. We've got Becky and Hello. Emily joining us tonight to break everything down. So super excited about that. And what we need from you Nashies out there is to start sending in your comments on Facebook. Um, we love engaging with you guys. We read all the comments. We're sifting through them, sorting through what we're going to talk about tonight. And you never know, your comment might get read tonight. So, yes. Becky, whenever you're not on the Nashville couch, are you a Nashie that's interacting on Facebook? Yes. Oh, yes. See? Absolutely. Tell them. <laughs> Tell yes. them. Type it out. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> you never know. Okay, so I feel like with the Reina stuff, mm -hmm. I don't know if we need like a moment of silence or we need we to like take scream. One. Just, a, just a quick deep breath. Everybody okay. take a deep breath. Okay. And then maybe a sip. And then like maybe, yeah. maybe, oh, a, sip. Yeah, maybe a sip. A sip of like wine. It. Like, I don't know. How There's do not you... enough wine in all of the grape fields in America and the world to get through that episode like that. That was intense. Like, it was heavy. <gasps> so intense. It was um, definitely heavy. Again, can I remind y'all that if you haven't seen tonight's episode, <laughs> you need to go watch it because we're about to spoil some things like oh, legit. I mean, Raina was held hostage by her stalker. Um, she had a knife to her throat. That was but crazy. still held it together. And talked her she way did. out of it. Right. She really yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Like, I was like taking notes. She was like, like a notes. hostage negotiator. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was. I was like, she yeah. did much better than the guard who was like, let her go, guy. Let her go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let her go. It makes me think back to like the episode last week or the one before where they're like, hey, you know, we've all been to Iraq, I get Afghanistan. Like, we got you. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> like, Clearly what? not. Where were the guys? in the broom closet. How in the world? Her like, they should, like, a whole day. Fire that janitor, too. <laughs> yes, they should sweep the building before she walks in. Um, so, Rhiannon, your character, Hallie, uh, rescued Juliet, obviously, mm -hmm. after her plane crash. And you've been an intricate part in her transformation and just encouraging her and being there for her. How or I guess as Hallie, or how would Hallie come in and kind of take Raina in after this traumatic night of a stalker and a car crash and then all the Raina fans, like how would Hallie swoop in and kind of do what she's done for Juliet um, in this situation, but for Raina? I mean, I think she would just tell her to focus on 
you know, all the good things in her life and, and to focus on her relationship with her spiritual creator and to know that he, he would help her get through it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that's, I think she would just remind her of things that she already knows. I mean, that, that's what Hallie's so good at is, is, is just kind of reminding people of the good that already is out there, you know, and that's just waiting to be accessed. Yeah. Oh, that's a good answer. And, I mean, she doesn't know ahead of time what the questions are going to be. So, wow. that, I mean, I was like, okay, yeah, that's really... Is it inappropriate to cheers to that? Yeah. No. Oh, cool. I feel like I need to do it anyway. Cheers now. Cheers. No. Oh, cheers. Yeah. I know. I feel like that is something that's applicable to um, maybe some people out there needed to hear that exact yeah. piece of advice and, and it's wisdom and kind of just... Whatever you have going on in your life, it may not be a hostage stalker situation <laughs> or a car not. crash, <laughs> right. or, yeah. but we all have different things going on. Um, and, you know, speaking of you being there for Juliet and being her, her guardian angel, um, what's, what's been the biggest thing or change that you've seen in Juliet so far, like her character? Because I think of your influence. I mean, it, it seems to me that the, the crash really shook her. And... You know, she started off kind of going, I deserve to, like, I was supposed to die in that crash. Right. But, you know, Hallie's, her big point was, like, maybe the point was that you didn't, you know. And I think she's really taking that to heart. It's, it's like, I have a chance to do over. Right. I have a chance to fix these things in my life that I have completely screwed up mm -hmm. through. I mean, you know, we all make choices, but she obviously has had a really tough upbringing. So it's like, here's your chance to sort of wipe the slate clean and to, to start you know, in, in a place where you're going to be taking in a lot more good mm -hmm. <laughs> and then giving out bad, you yeah. know. And I, I really think that Hallie has helped her see that. She's seeing, you know, Hallie as a character who is, you know, selfless and, you know, is a social worker and does community work and does church work. And she sees how loved, beloved she is. I know. And, I even watch Hallie. I'm like, dang, I need to so get out there the and volunteer. Halo. Where's the halo? <laughs> I'm like, what, what have I done today, you know, but Hallie? Just, you won't even yeah. take a Range Rover as a gift. I mean, <laughs> I just think it's inspiring to her, you know. And, well, how do you think that Juliet will keep the faith this season? How's she going to keep it up? I don't know. I mean, that's going to be the, I think that's the question. Is this a temporary thing? You know, because, I mean, we've all had that time where we're like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna go work out every day, and it feels so good. And yeah. three months later, you're like, oh, I really want that ice cream, you know. And then you're oh, like, I six did that months today. later, you're like, like, food. I was like, I'm not having any sugar today. And legit, on my way here, I went and got, like, a chocolate bar. Yeah. So, so I mean, how long Oh, and I'm drinking wine right now. Which okay, is we can't all be perfect. So. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, I'm just saying I last, like, a day. Well, um, so we'll see how long it lasts, I guess. So, obviously, Juliet wants to do a gospel album. So, a big scene from tonight was when she came to you and was like, hey, what do you think about this? Do you think you can, like, help me talk to your people and see what's up if we can get this done? And I just, I love that scene. So, we're going to revisit it right now. Let's roll that clip. Listen. I want to do my next album with you and choir. What do you mean? I want to do a gospel album. You're kidding. Why would I be kidding? <sighs> well, it's not exactly what you've done. Which is why I want to explore it. Uh, well, I just, I don't think it's a great idea. Why not? Do you know why? Come on. Aren't we all equal in the eyes of God? <sighs> I don't know how to say this, but honestly, if that's how you're looking at it, then you really don't understand the problem. I do. I do understand the problem, okay? I'm not stupid. But I just hear the music, and it speaks to me. How I want the chance to explore it. And does that make me selfish? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so, Hallie, we have to know, why <clears throat> does... Or you're not... Hallie, but you know, I'm just going to talk to Hallie. I'm stand in for tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why does Hallie think it's such a bad idea for Juliet to do the album? Because, I mean, you act like we're all supposed to just, like, in the clip, it just is like, well, if that's the reason you think it is, then you really have no idea. And I'm standing there thinking, like, well, I really have no idea, so please tell right. me. The legit answer of what, what Hallie meant. I mean, I, th I think that there's, it's, it's, there's a tangled history of, of sort of the gospel gospel choirs sort of propping up and backing up people, but sort of as a prop, you know, and not mm. as an actual, you know, a, a, you know, moment of spiritualism, you know. And I think that's her fear is that the choir doesn't, I mean, she sees, she's going to Bible study 
she's see, you know, she has seen the change in Juliet, but she knows that the people in the choir haven't necessarily seen that. They see gotcha. this, this famous white woman come into their church mm -hmm. for three months or however long it was, you know, and all of a sudden wants to put them on the right. And it's like, why? You know, there's been a lot of, I mean, there has been a lot of exploitation of black music, you know, in American culture. And it's not that she's actually actively thinking that. Right. It's just kind she's of like, not, that's just part of the fabric of like, wait a minute, this is my, you know, these are, th this is kind of a protected space. And mm. you're coming in and like, want to do commercial, you know, uh, something commercial with this. And what's the, what's the motivation? And it's sacred. Yeah. And it's sacred. Right. So, I mean, not that there's not gospel recorded gospel music as there is, but you know, she, Juliet's coming from very clearly a secular world and a very particular <laughs> kind yeah. of secular world. Right. You know? So I think she's really more afraid that the choir is just not going to get it. And so she's trying to prepare her like, it's, you know, it's more complicated than you just kind of coming in and going, can you do an album with me? There's just things that we need to talk through. And, you know, I think she's just trying to prep her for that. Yeah. You know? Well, and Rhiannon, as you as an artist, like, um, what do you think about uh, artists that kind of want to cross over into a different genre? I, my thought is, uh, I always think that anybody should be able to do anything. But my thought, my, my only sticking point is, it, where's the heart? You know, are you doing this because you truly have a love and a desire to do this music in its truest sense? Mm -hmm. Or are you doing it because it's cool, right. you know, and you kind of want to drape it over what you're doing, you know? Right. That's the difference. It's like, I'm like, you want to do gospel music and you feel this connection to God and it means a lot to you? Go for it. Like, talk to gospel singers. Like, listen to gospel music. You know, like, actually in immerse yourself in it. But if you're just going to kind of take the top of it, then it's kind of like, why mm -hmm. would you, you know, why do you want to do that? Like, just do what's true to you. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That's a great answer. A genuine intention. I'm, yeah. I'm going to call you later and no. <laughs> give you my own <laughs> 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 This is like a therapy session. Talk. Yeah. I mean, just. She's going to invoice this later. Really? <laughs> seriously. I mean, I don't know. Emily, Becky, do y'all have any questions for me? <laughs> like, while we've got her here, let's just break it all. Love any, me. <laughs> do you have anything going on? No, that was so great. Um, next week at Thursday. Well, I feel like um, Hallie and Juliet just really had a lot going on this episode for sure. Um, the stuff we've been discussing, obviously, but then you and your character uh, signing a record deal with Highway 65, <laughs> potentially. And it doesn't really seem like Hallie is one to chase a record deal or money or anything, but it does seem like there is some interest there. So where do you, what do you think is driving that? You know, Hallie has this love for this music. I mean, if, if you remember the scene where she goes in and does this, you know, the, the show for the kids, yeah. you know, talking about the banjos, African roots. And, mm -hmm. and I think she, she's a mission driven person, you know, as you know, exemplified in her, in her daily life. So her music is going to be the same. She's not going to be wanting to sing about the trees or the, <laughs> you know, their, her love from last year or whatever. She's probably saying this, maybe I could get this Maybe this music, you know, could get out to a wider audience, maybe. You know, I think that she might see, oh, there's an opportunity maybe that I could, you know, get the mission out there a little bit. Yeah, well, let's roll that Highway 65 clip since we're talking about it. Do you understand that if this happens, you get to introduce the world to your gift? What do you mean? Whether or not this works out, you're still going to record an album, just like I said. I'm going to push Highway 65 to sign you. What? I am. Raina James ain't the only girl in this town with an eye for talent. <laughs> okay, so let's say that you do end up signing with Highway 65. Mm -hmm. What kind of album are you making? You know, I, I really think something that, that means something to her. You know, if, it, if it's not, it would either be a spiritual album or an album based on that music that she's playing for the kids, you know, a way to you know, show some of the history that she talks about, you know, to them. And I, I think she would want to go one or the other. I don't think she'd probably want to do like a commercial, you know, like a pop album or a country album. She'd just want to do something that really spoke to her, you know, and that she could feel a connection to. Again, beautiful answer. <laughs> right? 
Beautiful. So good. Like, so good. Emily, do you have any thoughts for Rhiannon on that I part? mean, I just, I love the character. Right. And we were talking about this earlier, mm -hmm. just the sense of calm and serenity that you bring, not just to the scene. Even here, right now on this right. couch. Right, right, right. We're upstairs freaking out, holding hands right. when everything's going down. Look at the and angel. she's like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this, with this halo up here, we're just like, jealous it's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's a breath of fresh air in any show to have that person. I feel like you really I need agree. to have it. There's a lot of turmoil right now in the episode. There has been this entire season. Everybody's trying to find themselves and, and get there. And, and I think it's really nice to have that awesome. on, the, on the show. Well, so one last thing about the gospel album mm -hmm. and Juliet. When we kind of saw some old Juliet, don't you think, Becky? It's some old Juliet yes. showed up <laughs> so like, whenever oh, no. the, the choir, mm -hmm. the, the members of the choir started challenging her on mm -hmm. some things. Yep. She was like, okay. And then we saw some of the Juliet we've seen in the <laughs> past where she got a little feisty. Mm -hmm. Do you think she kind of burned that bridge or? No, I don't think so. I don't, the, the, it has nothing to do with her feistiness okay. and everything to do with the answer she's giving. Okay. You know, that the choir just wants to know what her intentions are. Mm -hmm. You know, they're feisty themselves. They have no problem with the feistiness. Sure you know, she'll that. probably sure. get along with them really well <laughs> because of that, you know, but it's the, it's the intentionality mm -hmm. of where, where her request, you know, it's like, why, why do you want to do this? You know, that that's, what's going to burn the bridge if they don't feel like they're getting a real answer from her. Right. Okay, that's, that's a really good point. Um, well, as you know, um, Nashville was brought back because of the Nashies. And so every week we love to get a shout out to our Nashie of the week. And really what's cool about our comments that come in and how we track everything on Facebook, I mean, we're getting engagement from all over the world. Um, we can play a fun game like I'm pretty sure we have got people from Portland to Poland. Mm -hmm. Portland to Poland. Portland to Poland. Um, <laughs> Italy to yeah, Illinois. Look at you. <laughs> uh oh. What do you got? Oh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Canada. Canada to Cuba. Turkey oh. to Tennessee. Oh, oh. good one. Tur oh. Kilimanjaro oh, to good. Kentucky. Look at oh, you. Nice. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, what home state are you from? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. From Nairobi? Norwegian. <laughs> yeah. Is that a place? A what about, what about, yes. what about you, from kidding. Utah to the Ukraine? <laughs> Utah to the Ukraine. Yes, you killed it with that. Oh Wait, how I about it. what was it? From Utah, Utah to, to Ukraine. Ukraine. Very good. Yeah, Very okay, good. so I think we've um, Brazil to Boston. Bam. Uh, oh. 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 Get one more <laughs> in. One more. Game over. I mean, if you're still playing along at home, awesome. But um, <laughs> it's time to hear from our Nashi of the Week coming all the way from Switzerland. Wow. <gasps> Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she's watching this live, and it's like 3 a.m. there, if I did the math right. Love. Get it, wow. girl. But she, she's Dedication. waking up in the middle of the night, basically, to watch herself on Dash Chat right Aww. now. And here Hello. is the video of Natalie, our Nashi of the Week. Hey, guys. I'm Swiss Nashi, and I'm from Switzerland. In 2012, I began to translate TV shows, and Nashville was uh, one of them. Before that, I had no idea what real uh, country music was. I began to learn. And uh, last year, a uh, station proposed to me to get my own country music radio show. And at the end of the year, I had two hours per week and 19,000 listeners. Nashi of the week right there. All that is really really great. Great. I mean, can we have a round of applause yes. for that? Yeah, that yeah, is the amazing. best. Yes. Oh my gosh, Switzerland. That okay, awesome. so, so cool. just to show you guys what it's like behind the scenes here at Nash Chat is I um, have access to all the Facebook comments here on this cool little iPad. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Except for I pressed a button I wasn't supposed to press. <laughs> so, um, I'm technical. Tec technologically challenged. Yeah. Technologically Should I help you? Can I? So. Help you um, I'm going to break the fourth wall here. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> Can you um, Listen, yeah. put my IT hat on? She, this girl knows her <laughs> whatever. Back. My whatever. Okay. All right. Goodness. Keep talking. Thank you for bearing Listen. with us. Listen. Take a sip right of here. wine. Hello. Yes. Hello. Cheers. That See, I don't really, really know what happened. What but did of course, you do we to wanted, this We've woman. got questions for um, Rhiannon, so I want to make sure to get those. Oh, there it goes. Ah. 
Ta-da. There's more than one. You are the one. You, know you know what's so funny? You know, they, my IT people always tell me, turn it off and turn it back on. That is the number one word. Oh, don't, don't call your IT people. I don't, I don't have IT people. Okay, so we're ready. We're back yes. in business. Yes. We're grooving. Joe would like to know um, where you were when you found out you got the part for Hallie. Ah, I was uh, I was in New York, um, and I was I was uh, <laughs> I was in an apartment that I was about to vacate because I had just I was just in a uh, a Broadway show that closed before I got to do it, <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> and man. yeah, I was replacing the star, and then they decided to close it instead, oh, no. and I was a little distressed, and um, got the call for Marshall to try out for the well, for the show, I mean, and it that's was a huge blessing. Yeah, it was amazing. It just saved me because I was emotionally pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. Sad. Oh yeah, and just uh, you know the opportunity to do something completely new, you know, and to and to learn and and you know everybody's been so supportive. Of yeah, me, so that's awesome. It's been great. Well, Sarah would like to know which cast members do you wish you could have more scenes or songs with? Oh, all of them. <laughs> they're they're all so they're amazing. They're all so awesome. <laughs> I oh, mean, Becky wants you to do more with Avery, do something with Avery. Nash needs a duet there. Ooh, that would Nash be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That is my Nash crush. Nash oh, crush. look, she just Ooh. like, I did it. Hashtag Nash I crush. Did. That's my 15 minutes of fame right there. So who, who's your Nash crush? Oh, I definitely, I mean, Deacon, duh, Deacon, duh. Although, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not hating on Zach Wells. I mean, I know there's, what? this is, look, okay, okay. I will tell you a secret. Yes. It's not so a secret, me. actually. Is it going to break We're my heart? We're from the same hometown. Oh, oh, you and Zach? We're in North Adams, Carolina. Greensboro. Oh, okay. Nice. We wow. saw each other at the first table reading. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually know we, we knew each other before the show. Uh, it was amazing. True. It was oh, just that's like, awesome. well, okay, that's this cool. is a little freaky. How random is that? Small well, world. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing great, too. That's very really um, Well, Tim would like to see you perform live. So, what upcoming shows do you have? Um, well,. I have a tour that's being announced next week, so you can go to www.rhiannaginns.com. Um, and, and that's that www. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's www? I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it's they so were, Hey, but I couldn't figure out the iPad, so no yeah. judgment. Somebody <laughs> might need that. No judgment here. But I do have a record that's dropping next Friday on the 24th. And awesome. And when we announce, when that, you know, is available, we'll announce the American tour. And so I am coming to Nashville. And tell you when okay. you have to go check out the dates. But you have to go to www.rhiannongiddens.com. <laughs> <laughs> so 2000. I know. That's I'm not fire. Showing my age. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, it's fine. I do it too. Um, so Sam would like to know: Are there any experiences in your own life which you drew upon to play Hallie? If so, what? Like, have you ever legit rescued someone from a plane crash? <laughs> I, I have not, but I'm going to tell you something. Doing, doing the filming for that first scene, the, the plane crash, was yeah. my very first scene ever. You know, like playing a character in a TV show. Mm -hmm. So it was like Stress City, you know, because oh, yeah. I didn't know, I, I just don't know how TV works, you know. And I, the, the, the Broadway show that I didn't get to do, I had to learn how to tap dance for. It was called Shuffle Along, and I had to learn to tap from scratch. And so and I was you in like, you you and, I, and I learned all the choreography. And I, it was, I was in tap dance boot camp. So basically, I had to just like that exists because I need to go. Well, <laughs> they they made that one for me. Like um, and I really had to like release all of my fear and just like, okay, I can't start thinking about this or I'm gonna freak out. And so I took all of that experience from the, the Broadway show and put it right into that first day of like, don't freak out, just do what they tell you to do and be fine, you know. And that was like amazing to kind of directly apply that. Well, you should tell the, you know, writers and directors of Nashville that you can tap. I'm, I'm okay with not, no, you know, show, show. Show. <laughs> I, I like love to live it, vicariously through your tap oh skills. Gosh. I took tap dancing when I was a kid and my mom made me quit because all I would do was our entryway was the only tile in the house oh. and I was, <laughs> was right in the middle of the house right. and that's where I did all my practicing and it just annoyed everybody so my mom made me quit. <laughs> oh. So right now I'm like super, like I'm legit jealous of your tap boot camp because that was something I really wanted to do. Um, so we've got some, those were some questions for you. You did a great job. You passed. You got a, you got a hundred. But we have um, some other questions just kind of, you know, throwing it out there to Becky, Emily, Rihanna, everybody. Um, do you think that Raina's accident will serve as a way to get all of the characters who currently feel lost and astray to come together? And that question is from Cameron. Ooh, well, that's a question. I know. That is a question. Uh, well, I mean, if you look at it, Raina's kind of the glue 
that holds the whole show together anyway. So I, I think, yeah, that absolutely could do it. They all know each other because of her. So, yeah. Yeah. That's true. But, I mean, that, that show transcends, like, just one character. I, I really do think it does. It, it's grown to be such an amazing show. Oh, and everybody, sure. all the light, like, everybody has a very specific purpose. And, like, I, I mean, I love her. She's incredible. And, like, every moment that she has with Deacon is so special and so amazing. And the kids, even though sometimes you want to slap them. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but both of them now miss I got my period. Like, she was getting a little... You know, with her FaceTime. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I get a little, I get a little feisty. I feel, yeah, I feel like right. Feisty. I know. Yeah. We were. We'll spare you of our conversation we had upstairs when we were watching it, but <laughs> it basically went like, yeah. There were, there's guys upstairs that were like, mm. <laughs> no, I don't want to know when Aunt Flo came. I don't want to know. Moon gift. Um, moon gift. I didn't get no moon gift. So Emily says, um, can Hallie take all these characters to church with her because they all need Jesus? Because <laughs> they all need Jesus? Yeah. That is fantastic. Wow. Emily, you're funny. Um, Daniel wonders, Juliet didn't like Avery's new song. Do you think she's going to bring him into the gospel album? Ooh, I hope so. I mean, so. surely he would be the producer of it. I mean, at least. Yeah. Well, I think he wants to do his own. I think well, I know, like but right now, yeah, though. I think he's well, that's trying true, to release but his. He wants to sing. But I mean, if you're, wild child. if you're, he would do anything but, for her. But, so yeah, I could see him doing it. What do you guys it. think? Like, what do you guys think about her honesty? Like, when you've got two artists in one relationship, mm. I think it's important. You kind of do you think you yeah. have to have it? You yeah. know? Well, isn't this show a bunch of artists in relationships together, and they all handle it differently? That's why they need Jesus. Is uh, Go to what church. Emily said is because you know what I mean. They really all. Are. It, like, and is they're there all the relationships that's not are different. An artist? They're all different. No. And Scarlett and Gunner are going to have to get it together. That's true. <laughs> well, I mean, it I, is Nashville, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I live here. I'm not an artist. <laughs> Same I here. want to be. But I can sing some karaoke, though. Watch but out. But you interview them all day. True. Mm -hmm. True. Most artists date artists, I feel like. Are you dating a, a musician? We won't get into that. <laughs> no, no. Well, let's just say hypothetically if you were <laughs> dating. Yes, I am. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Then okay. let's just say but you have to like like what they do, or it's hard to support them. So I think her honesty was important in that. Situation. Okay, that was my question for yeah, you. That's do you good think point. you could tell your hypothetical boyfriend that his music is not good, or do, is he comfortable enough oh, to boy. tell you, "Hey, I really don't like that song"? I feel like you have to. Like we do because like. So you are dating, yes. Uh, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, I nailed it. Oh, sorry to out you, girl. See, sorry, yeah, not sorry. You have to, because if you're the one supporting them, like, how do you go? Oh, this is great. That's so true. You know, that's so true. Um, so Luke said the stalker scene with Raina was so intense. Agree. Um, would you have been able to keep your cool and talk him down? Me? Anybody? <laughs> oh heck no! <laughs> I'd be in the floor. I actually thought about this. I was like, what would have happened if she just like, oh, and then passed out, yeah. or like faked to pass out? Like what? What like, would you have done? Like played possum. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got my smurf. Like, <laughs> like I wonder just what would have be happened. Be, what would he have done? Because he seemed like he was at least letting her talk to him and trying to reason. He got upset a couple times, which of course you know made her more nervous. But she tried the you know the well this is how I'm feeling and you're doing this to me. Like each one did or didn't work and she was maneuvering quite beautifully. I don't know she if did I would have been She did a phenomenal. Been I would have been in the fetal position. Yeah. Crying for my mother. I know. But I mean, what has the woman been through? I mean, right? she's seen true. it all. So yeah. she just like went survived into a lot. survive mode. Like, this is like nothing. she did that by now. I know. And I mean, the phone she's... thing, man. She's slick as not. That little thing. So Pull slick. It out. Da, 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 da. Um, well, I've got some fan reactions from tonight's episode, and these are just the Nashies commenting on everything they saw. And Jeremy says, can Rhiannon be Raina's angel tonight? She needs one right now. Aww. Uh, Michelle says, after tonight's episode, I need oxygen and depends. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll go I, with that. Don't think about it too hard. I'm trying to figure out the depends part. Don't. Really? Um, don't. Just have some wine. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, let's... Is that over my head? Just let it be. You okay. know what they are, right? <laughs> yeah, I know it. Yeah, okay. adult diapers. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Talk I, me through this. I, well, I really need I'm to know. Thinking, I'm thinking too... what she's saying is that, like, it she was so intense that pants. she almost peed her pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, I pee my pants when I'm excited. Well, not when I'm like, 
What was her Sex. name? No, it was Pooper Pants. Pooper Pants. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. So, oh, I mean, I don't really pee, but maybe just a little. Sure, you so, know. So, um, <laughs> Linda says, I hope Juliet finds balance. She can love the Lord, sing gospel, and do country pop. Yeah. Balance. Mm-hmm. Balance. Balance. Karen says the writers really outdid themselves tonight. Shout out, writers. True From story. Daphne getting her period to Scarlett uh, blooming to Raina being stalked, Nashville writers have really stepped up the game. Yeah. I agree. Really good yeah. Tonight. You're welcome, CMT. I mean, like, they're killing yeah. it. Yeah. CMT. Now she's it. taken a moment to recognize the writers. Yeah. Like that's yeah. like that's when you know like there's impact. You know. It's such a fantastic community. There's there's really not another like fandom quite like the Nashi community. They're so supportive of all the characters, yeah. past and present and future, and it's just, it's really quite incredible. I love it. I know, and they've really taken to your character for yeah. sure. That's evident tonight. I mean, the comments just keep coming through and coming through. Stacy says, Rhiannon, if someone gave you a car in real life... <laughs> I knew the car was going to come up. <laughs> would, would you be able to turn it away? Hallie is a strong woman. I would have taken it, LOL. <laughs> That's from Stacey, like I said, so... Come on. Uh, I mean, you probably wouldn't. You know, you seem- I mean, <laughs> if I was her. You seem awesome. You know, if I, if I was her, I mean, there, you know, you can take the car and sell it and give the money to the community center. Or you can say, can you give this to the community center? Or, you, you know, I, I would want to turn it to, you know, what I'm focused on instead of take. I would feel weird to take Perfect. a really no, super nice SUV for I saving somebody's life. I would feel yeah. weird. No, that's a really good answer. Um, are there any other, like, I guess we've kind of wrapped up everything with all these questions. I feel like that that is a good way to, I was going to ask for final thoughts, but I feel like we covered it. We covered it. We covered it. Yeah. And we got the inside scoop on well, this is people so dating. Much fun. I know, so much, so much fun. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. my gosh, it was, yeah. it was so much fun to watch you watching you, you and then watching yes. us. You can, you can right? come to my house and watch National with me. And yes, and yeah. Fun. And then you can also just show up every. I don't know. Can we do like Therapy Thursday? Yes, we should. And um, we should. and all like hang out tonight. Hang Another out every Thursday night and do that. <laughs> um, okay, so it's that time where we have to say goodbye. Aww. We we um. <laughs> You uh, you don't have to leave, but you can't stay here. <laughs> What's that saying? You don't, uh, have, you don't to have to go, go home, home, but you but can't, can't stay, stay here. here. Yeah. <laughs> what is your fun fact about that? I never get the sayings right. That's what? apparently about like him and his uh, what was it? Sim- Simisonic, I think, is the group that does that. Uh-huh. And that was written about him, his um, unborn baby, who just would not come out. And he wrote that about. But he his band, I guess, wouldn't sing it if. For yeah. some reason, he was like, well, how about I make it into a really catchy song? I didn't know that. now lives on. Wow. Emily is like Wikipedia. Seriously. I mean, Musipedia. Yeah. <laughs> we got a Nashpedia. Fun fact right here. You never know. I always tell you, you learn stuff if you're a Nashie and you watch this show. Um, so make Sorry. sure that you continue to watch. Obviously, we're here every week. Um, but before we go, tell everybody where they can find you on social media. Um, I'm on Twitter. Um, Rhiannon Giddens, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on it Facebook. Is. And yeah, yes. yeah, 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 and I am very excited and about Instagram and Instagram, mm-hmm. and I am very excited about um, my new record, Freedom Highway, coming out next yes. week. Yes, it's next, Freedom Highway. That's next Friday, the twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which new music always drops on a Friday, FYI. It used to be Tuesdays, but now yeah, it's Fridays. Changed, yeah. So make sure you watch out for and that. And it's actually streaming right now on NPR as their first first listen. The whole album is streaming right now. Awesome. So Freedom okay. Friday. Yes. Freedom okay. Friday. And then, um, Freedom Friday. Freedom Lacey, Friday. Lacey, what about you? Where can we find you? Lacey Cavalier on everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. You type it into Google, you'll find about things that you'll get annoyed with me on. So that's Lacey Cavalier. Um, we will be here next Thursday night after the episode airs on CMT. You just head on over to CMT's Facebook page, uh, 10, 9 Central. Hit up all the hashtags. If you want to know what's going on, you can follow and see what everybody's chatting about. The hashtags, there's three important ones. There's Nashville CMT, there's Nash Chat, and there's Nashies. Yes. Y'all got that? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. That's so us. make sure you do that. And until then, I guess everybody have a good weekend. Yes. And we will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. Bye.
city burn too long the fires out the buzz ain't gone